Welcome to 3D Optics Tutorials. Today we are going to review importing CAD objects into 3D Optics. First we need to create a file. I pre-populated this file so we can just move into the project. Okay, now to import CAD objects into our optical system we have two options here. We can either right click in the 3D layout and at the bottom here we can click on the import CAD selection and a window will pop up to import CAD objects. The second option is to go to the top of the web page, click on the file, and at the bottom again there is an import CAD selection we can click on. Either way will get you to the same place. Note that the only file types currently supported are .stp and .step or step files. Now we can not only import optomechanical objects such as lens mount and lens tube, but also lens CAD objects. First we will look at the CAD mounts. The first is a tower mount. When we select this CAD object, we also have the choice to name it if we so choose. However, I've already named it, so we're going to keep it as is. Okay, let's go ahead and import this CAD object. Now some of these objects will take a while, so we'll pause here. Okay, now we're back, so let's look at the CAD object. It looks like it successfully imported into the 3D layout and it looks like it's a little bit above the table. And that's just due to how the object is imported. Okay, let's move on to the second CAD object we have. We'll right click again and click Import CAD Object. Okay, and this time we are selecting a lens tube. Let's go ahead and import it. And again, we'll pause here. Okay, and now that it's loaded, let's go ahead and look at that lens tube. We'll move the tower, and we can see we have our lens tube here. Now, with this being a lens tube, if we added a lens to our system here, it could make the coordinate system reference for the lens the lens tube, and therefore the lens would sit inside the lens tube. So that's a nice feature of the lens tube and optics. Now, a really nice thing 3D Optics does when you import CAD objects is it saves them to your private catalog. So let's go to the Outliner bar, and let's go to our catalog, and in the Filter dropdown, we're going to go to Private. Now, as we can see, we can see all of the CAD objects that we've imported in, and we can easily drag and drop them in if we need another one in the optical system, and it's much faster than importing them. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize the outliner bar. And now let's go and import the optics. We will again right click, go to import CAD, and this time we will click optics at the object type. So we will select our file, and here we have an Edmund Optics lens. Note that we have an additional option at the bottom, triangulation resolution. This tells 3D Optics what level of resolution we want to import this lens file. Now this can affect your CAD surface and ray interaction properties as low resolution models can scatter arrays in undesired ways. Let's go ahead and select high so that we know the CAD file is uploaded with good resolution. Let's go ahead and import. Now the imported file because it's just a standard CAD file doesn't have a materials catalog attached to it. Now we know from the name here that it's an MDK7 substrate, so we'll just go ahead and select that from the dropdown. Okay, here we go, and we will confirm. And now it will upload it into our 3D layout. Okay, and here it is in the 3D layout. We'll move it over here. Okay, so let's add the second lens next. Second lens will be another Edmund Optics lens. Okay, and again, we have to remember to choose Optic when we are importing optics. We will create a high resolution file again for import, and we will go ahead and import the file. And again, we must select the material. This is an NSF11 material, so we'll go ahead and find that. In the catalog. There it is. Okay, great. And we will upload into the 3D layout. 
Okay, so our lens has loaded, and now we have our optomechanical and optics CAD objects into our 3D layout. Now let's look at this lens and actually look at the lens prescription that we imported in. So we'll go to the ribbon bar here, go to CAD object settings, and we will go to the optical settings. All right, and this will bring us to the prescription settings of the lens. All right, and from here we can see some basic properties of the lens. We can find the material, the dispersion equation, index refraction, and all the Selmeyer coefficients down here. For the wavelength information, this will generate the index of refraction. So if we change this, the index of refraction will change so we can see how it changes with wavelength, okay? Now on the bottom here, we can see the faces that were imported with the CAD object. Now if we spin this, we can look at each face individually. So the first face is going to be the plano side, or the curved side, this is the concave side here. The second face is going to be a little ring around the concave face. Now, we can effectively ignore this one as it won't affect the lens properties. This is possibly an artifact of the import or the creation of the original file. Okay. And for phase three, this is our Plano side on the back. And phase four will be the radial surface here. Okay, great. Now let's click out of here. And again, if we go back to the outliner bar and look at our private folder, we can see that the lenses we just imported pop up in our private folder. So that's great. We don't have to keep on uploading CAD objects and lens files into 3D Optics. We'll just have them there in our private catalog. Okay, so importing CAD objects, both optomechanics and optics, is a very useful tool for prototyping our optical system and helping us create custom designs in 3D Optics.